All right, so this is, I think now, probably the ugliest thing I've ever built. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Tower Attack with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, eh, we got a base done. <laughs> uh, it's not exactly what I was thinking in my head. Uh, I think it's more or less that I didn't have the room to do what I want to do. Uh, and the base that I was actually going to make is a lot bigger than this. And... I think that it's better if we try just try and keep it compact at the moment. Um, at least with this one, we can pretty much call it in wherever we want, which is great. <laughs> so I'm going to go over it. Uh, we are, just so you guys know, we are grade 5 with GSO, grade 3, uh, maxed with uh, Geocorp, Venture, and then, oh, we are maxed with uh, Hawkeye. So the only ones that we're missing is GSO max, uh, max grade, and that's it. So, uh, but we'll go over the base real quick. As you guys can see, there's two um two hawkeye uh, cannon turrets and two megaton cannons on the tops here just to kind of help <laughs> uh, just because i've seen some large text spawn in not in well there's been a couple in this world seed but in the last seed there was some pretty big ones so i wanted to make sure that you know the base had some good defenses we have the turrets up and running uh there are three of them they have they all three of them are exactly identical. They have two uh, megaton cannons, uh, five Hawkeye rifles, and two uh, two solar panels, shield bubble, and repair bubble, as you guys can see. And then it is a Hawkeye uh, turret. But back to the base here. <laughs> so what I have done is we've gone with a conveyor belt all the way across the front here. Um, this conveyor belt will come out eventually. Um, I'm not 100% sure, probably just to about here. I'm gonna say and then uh, over here will be a scrapper base or scrapper also because right up here we have all our fabricators right so I want to put the mobile SCU unit right here and it's just gonna spit into that or all the fabricators are just gonna spit right into the uh, mobile SCU unit and uh, since it has a smaller grab ring or grab radius uh, we won't have to worry about it grabbing this stuff from ours when we're scrapping here but yeah so the conveyor belt runs across the front here all the way down <clears throat> Feeding all those, uh, these silos. Now these, what is it, uh, four silos, they're just uh, placeholders. I'm gonna get some more, uh, or we're gonna make some more uh, mixed lots of silos so that we can finish these off. But as you can see, I actually have two resources per lots of silo. Um, I was talking about this in the last base that I think there's, uh, if you go with one, uh, one resource per silo and you like you do the refined and unrefined, um, it's just too much for that. Like it's, I guess the the computer, I guess is asking too many questions. So you just, I just have everything, all the unrefined. Um, they'll do, they're doubling up in each silo, and then right here I'm going to have a refined silo and a component silo, and anything that makes it past that goes into either the refinery and gets spit right into the delivery cannon or jumps past and goes over to the delivery cannon. Now components won't make it past because I don't want to lose components. So hopefully our component uh, silo never fills up. <laughs> um, and then on the bottom here, you guys can see that I have two different ways up or it's feeding two different ways. I separated it in the middle here. So it's half and half, which hopefully, you know, I'm hoping that it'll make it go a little bit faster, but there's no guarantee on that. Um, either way, it's better than having to wait for these resources, like if the components to go from here all the way down this way and then up, right? So if they can go straight up, that's perfect. Um, what's behind all of this is batteries. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I think there's, well, there'd be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, Geocorp batteries behind all this, sh uh, shielding. And then, yeah, of course, a ton of repair bubbles, uh, shield bubbles. And our A, we have an AI and uh, what is it, GSO cab sitting right here in the corner. I was going to put them underneath up top here, but figured I'll just leave it alone. I know that every time that we're getting attacked, they'll probably drive this way, um, which is kind of nice because we'll have the Hawkeye turret and the Megaton cannon shooting down on them. 
and then we'll have the right the venture long rifles firing at him right so all of that is fed up here to our two um yeah two uh re <laughs> two refineries sorry you guys uh and then obviously all the component factories now as you can see i've got it so that they come up the top here go past the refineries then go down and i'm not a hundred percent sure yet i have to i'll have to watch it when we're creating stuff but they might like a refined resource should kick off over here if this one of these component factors or yeah component factors is looking for it right it shouldn't go all the way to the end and then come back around um but yeah so it does a kind of a short loop over and over and then when it's done it gets com it comes down here to whichever component factory or i mean uh fabricator needs the component right looks simple should work hopefully it does <laughs> but yeah as you guys can see it's the same thing on this side but instead it the, it's fed up this way and then over and then down right now i was i did have a couple of refineries on this side but i was like uh, everything's going to be taking place right here so might as well just have them all sitting right up top here and just let it go around and around and around right so with that being said and all done oh yeah and then all the solar panels we need to start filling up our resource um or lots of silos here which is going to be interesting. Um, I can't remember what we need for more lots of silos. Let's take a look here. Uh, okay, Rhodius, Luxian, and Fibron trunks. Uh, okay, so everything we need, we can get. Um, otherwise, I was going to have to put a conveyor belt <laughs> off of those. Uh, uh, what was it? Four pack silos. Now, also, this base, how it's built or whatever, should be able to fit up on top of one of these monuments if we need to. Um, and now, with the ability to, you know, move the base, a little weird how fast it turned there, eh? Hey? Let's go like that. Uh, take that out. I'm really liking this this ability here and then it re-anchors for us so i like that, that that's a really really nice uh <laughs> addition to the game being able to move the bases because you always make a base and then you're like well if it was just over just a little bit more or i guess um you can make like two bases and then just kind of push them together really closely so uh which is really good now also um with the new additions to all the, uh, what is it, the dropper we have, we're gonna be able to use silos for, to hold stuff. So we're gonna be able to hold like 90, yeah, cause we'll be using lots of silos. We'll be able to use 90 or hold 90 resources. And then when we get to the base, I think all we have to do is like, we're gonna see, but when we make the harvester, you should be able to click on the conveyor belt, uh, reverse the direction of how the, the resources are being collected and just spit them out onto the ground here where the obviously our base will pick it up um but i think i'm going to build a yeah i'm gonna have to build a a harvester and then bring you guys back when we have it because i don't think we have any good one right yeah we don't yeah we don't have any yet all right, so this is, I think now, probably the ugliest thing I've ever built. <laughs> but uh, it does seem to work. So I'll show you guys it just in one second. So pretty much all I've got is two GSO batteries, a Hawkeye repair bubble, um, two Venture uh, propellers, and, you know, Venture wings, mid wings, uh, tail wings, two uh, GSO hubs, Hub wheels and to venture i can't remember what those wheels are uh, let's see here venture landing gears and then just a bunch of uh gso drills so and of course the gso four pack silo uh, I, I would have liked a lots of silo but it is what it is um i took this for like a really quick flight around and i have a feeling that um as nice as it would be for a plane to be you know a harvester i don't think it's going to be a thing oops and as you guys can see <laughs> so as you guys can see too 
the resources stack up on top. Um, here, let's just go over here. We'll get some of this. Uh, the reason I say that a plane won't be a thing, or it's kind of hard to become a thing, uh, is uh, if I can actually find a place to take off here, you'll see that when we try to land, it's really, really hard. Um, okay. This is interesting. This is a new development here. Um, I did take off like not even two minutes ago. Hmm. I would, I would like to put another propeller on, but you can't put one, you know what I mean? You can't put one, two here. You can only put one and it's going to be off to the side. So I think what I'm going to try um, is a booster or two. We'll put one on either side. I'm not too excited about this, but nope, definitely not. Okay, we need to stop. <laughs> oh, we did. We lost the resource, hey? Okay, you you need to stop so I can grab you. Okay, we'll just drop it. <laughs> all right, we're in the air. That's all we needed them for. Okay, let's go looking for some stuff. Uh, we needed. Oh, I don't even know what we needed. We needed some stuff from the mountains, which is kind of a bad place for us to be, but... Uh, at least, we, yeah, with the plane, we can still do the, like, the... Re, uh, the I guess the search and destroy kind of things, right? But, see, I'm letting off shift. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. You really got to spot the, the resource you need from a ways away. Um, but I believe this is... And we don't have a, uh, a mobile SCU unit yet. Hmm. So the question is, we need more lift on the front, I think. So maybe... Oh, come on, lift. Ah. <sighs> nope. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to do some uh, research into this. Because this definitely isn't going to work. Um, maybe if we had more wings. Uh, B. Like all it all, all it is is a matter of lift, right, you guys? So, and then sometimes it wants to help you, and sometimes it doesn't. So, <laughs> but we'll fly back to the base here real quick, and I'll show you guys um, how this works now with the. Uh, ooh, stop! Come on, slow down, and. Who's firing at us? Okay. <laughs> One second. We just gotta deal with this guy. So if he would have came up the hill a little bit further, obviously this turret would have engaged. Um, I'm sorry, shooting him, but it is what it is. And I don't think anybody. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything bad's happened. I don't know what it is. But for some reason, these turrets keep turning around in order to fire. Um, it literally makes no sense to me. I, I switched the front because I thought it was the guns. I was like, okay, well, they're not going to shoot forward because of uh, how the guns laid out. Um, but no, they keep turning around. So I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe I have too many blocks forward. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like horse blinders, so you can't, the AI can't see from side to side. Doesn't make sense to me, but we'll figure it out. Um, but it is weird. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all, a good chunk of this garbage that was just dropped here. <laughs> he should have just left us alone. There we go. We're getting lots of... Lots of uh, blocks now, so this this uh, the ability to start scrapping is going to be happening here soon. Okay, let's go back to our plane over here. So it's not as complicated. Like 
it's a little more complicated than I thought it was going to, but it's actually pretty simple too. So it's like a catch-22, right? So you're gonna take off both the collector pads. Um, otherwise, you, you, every time you drop a piece, you're just gonna you're just gonna pick it right back up, right? Um, then you need to take the filter, put the filter there. Go down to the dropper. Click on the dropper, and the dropper automatically does its job. Just spits it right out. Like, look at how easy that is, hey? Now, eh, given it's a little weird, but uh, I think... It, obviously, uh, the plane's not going to be useful, but the quadcopter harvesters and the helicopter harvesters, they, that will be useful, and any massive um, harvester that you guys build that's, like, rolling on the ground that it, this will be very helpful because all you'll have to do is do uh, all your silos, then connect them with a, uh, even I guess a filter on one side if you wanted to, because it won't work um, if you just put the filter or the, what do you want to call it? Uh, the dropper on just one side, sorry. See, I'll show you. It, it, it won't grab from the silo, so you have to give it the, you do have to give it the, um, the filter so you just have to figure out how you want to do that but there is a million different ways you could do that with uh, making a giant harvester but I'm going to collect some resources I'm going to get some uh, lots of silos made and yeah we'll see maybe I'll fix these turrets at the same time <laughs> okay so I was a little crazy <laughs> um, I thought you know there had to be something going on or there's something wrong uh, I went and just read the patch notes for it just to make sure I wasn't you know missing anything and yeah i did miss it they've uh changed the amount possible to come from these uh these veins up to a thousand resources they have so um yeah which is really really nice because some of them be are super super rare right like uh especially the salt flats one i haven't even spotted a fall salt flats yet in this seed which is fine um i was looking for it to be our base and the reason that I decided to stop looking for it because, yeah, we could have built a flyer and went looking for it easily. But the thing is, is that um, I always forget about how much or how <laughs> how quickly uh, big bots spawn in uh, during the when you're on the salt flats, right? Now, like I said, uh, I don't know how well a plane would be for um, a harvester. Right now, it's it's not too bad. Um, obviously, it's not going to be perfect for every situation, but I don't think that any harvester is. But the thing that I will say is that the the plane's lift capacity is more than what I thought is or not more, but I guess is uh, very very valuable because all you have to do is add uh, wings, right? Like. We already have this wing here, so if we needed to make more lift, we could just make another mid wing, right? Um, to add on to make more lift is perfect. Whereas the quadcopters, usually after you've done the, <laughs> you've uh, mined and you're like, okay, well, I need to add more to it, like more power. Usually you don't have any room uh, to add more power to it. So <laughs> it's like a catch 22, but uh, I could see. We could easily probably make a plane that could carry like three or four of these lots of silos and just go around uh, mining, right? Uh, it'd be a little weird looking, um, and maybe we'll try to build one in the future. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what you would mine with it. Maybe trees. Um, you know, all the easily accessible stuff, essentially. Uh, anything that's like, you know deep down in the mountains you're going to need the quadcopter for because you're probably going to need a vertical takeoff uh, okay we should have had oh we need uh iron trunks that's weird uh, hey guys so i got all the uh what was it the lots of silos finished which oh yeah that's fine refined resources um and as you guys can see they're all down in the bottom there uh we got quite a bit of resources there uh, so we're gonna have to start collecting, um, I guess going out on missions, collecting more and stuff like that. But uh, I'm still having the problem with the, the refineries. Um, 
it gets like you know what I mean they get plugged or whatever so you, you or it gets there's too many resources at one time for it to do and the moment the resources pass by the uh, refinery um, and not re get refined the computer or the program automatically tells it to reload those same resources so they come back up right uh, so I'm trying to think of a good way to kind of stop that or get in the way now I was thinking you know could just break the conveyor belt and put it right in the middle right but the problem is is that if there's components or anything like that they're not going to get past the refinery right and i guess you could put filters on it and stuff like that and we'll figure it out in the future but as of right now you can see that there's two additional blocks just floating around here so i tried this out um and it looks like it's going to work so obviously you, we don't want them floating around up top here so i'm you i'm sure you'd only do this what after we were done you know making everything we wanted to or if it got too cluttered up here they put the filter plus the dropper and it's right over top of our resource collector here and when they come down they should be filtered off and it should just drop them and then those should go right to our refinery um it should also do like it's on everything right so if we have components floating around up here anything instead of it just keep going around in a circle and you know causing problems for us nice it does work <laughs> we just get rid of it right um but yeah we got a lot of things to do i got a lot of i guess uh harvesting to do <laughs> and resource collection so uh i think in the next episode we're gonna get the mobile su unit and uh maybe we'll take a look at harvesters i'm not 100 percent sure yet uh i mean not harvesters hovercrafts um i'm trying to think here yeah, we'll figure something out for the next episode, but <laughs> if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.